On Monday, the National Association of Home Builders reported that home builders have become optimistic about the housing market outlook, and that report, combined with the upcoming testimony by Chairman Powell to Congress beginning tomorrow, created a continued bearish market sentiment, taking gold and silver prices dramatically lower with both precious metals breaking below their 100-day moving averages. Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 12.08 in Honolulu, 6.08 in New York on Tuesday, 20th day of June, 2023. And this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Gold Futures bases the most active August contract lost $23.10 or 1.17% and is currently fixed at $1,900. $48.10. Gold futures are trading in Australia currently fixed at $1,949.40. That puts current pricing still below the 100-day moving average. That is this line in blue. On top of it is the shorter-term 50-day moving average. Gold closed below its 100-day moving average for the first time in eight months. In fact, the last time gold traded below the 50 and 100 day moving average was back in November of last year. And that turned out to be the conclusion of a multi-month correction beginning in March when gold hit its all-time record high, which marked the beginning of a multi-month correction in which gold would lose over $400 plummeting from about 2100 down to 1600 per ounce. Although this is not the first occasion in which gold prices traded below the 100-day moving average, it is the first time it closed below that price point. So the question becomes whether or not gold can recover and move back above the 100-day moving average if that happens, we would expect to see pricing remain within the tight trading range between the 50-day and 100-day moving average. However, based upon recent statements by the Federal Reserve and Chairman Powell, we could expect to see continued bearish pressure on gold. If that is the case, the next logical place to look for potential support would be the 61.8% Fib retracement that occurs at $1,916 and below that $1,900, a key psychological level. The decline in gold was 100% selling pressure with the U.S. dollar closing in essence unchanged today. The index is currently fixed at 102 0.258. When we look at current pricing and compare it to a long-term Fibonacci retracement data set going from 89 to 114 on the dollar index, we can see that current pricing puts the index at a 50% retracement of that data set. However, it was silver that had the strongest decline when we compare that to gold, down 3.80%, a total of $0.92, cents, taking the most active July contract to $23.21. While silver had a larger percentage gain when both gold and silver pricing was moving to the upside, the reciprocal is also true during corrective periods we get an exaggerated price decline in silver when compared to gold, with silver losing well over 3%, almost 4% on the day. Silver also had technical chart damage breaking below its 100-day moving average, and that puts the next level of potential support should silver continue to decline right around $23 because the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement is currently fixed at $22.98. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next 
daily update and review. Bye-bye.